Anna Dunbar. I'm the guest host for Storytime today, and I'm the Outreach Administrator for the City of Waco Solid Waste Services. So you might see a truck come by your house, uh, pick up recycling, pick up brush, and pick up your trash. So that's the department that I work for. Today we're going to read Charlie Was Just a Chipmunk. And uh, the book is written by Danita Ross Haller and illustrated by Susan Still. So first, we're gonna go over what a chipmunk is. A chipmunk is a ground squirrel. Uh, so that means that it lives on the ground and that's important in the story. And it makes its nest on the ground. And in Texas, we have ground squirrels in the far west part of Texas, like in the Guadalupe Mountains. They live in mountainous areas. And the Guadalupe Mountains are near the border where Texas and New Mexico are. So we don't have these in Waco. The kinds of squirrels we have are fox squirrels, and they live in the trees. But today we're gonna to talk about a ground squirrel named Charlie. Charlie lived in a hole under a log pile above the stone wall beside the clear bubbling creek at the edge of the park. Charlie was happy. His world was beautiful. He loved the green trees. He loved the wild flowers. He loved the clear bubbling creek. He loved to romp and play with his friends in and out of the stone wall. In the winter, when the colors and smells of spring and summer were gone, Charlie especially loved his snug little hole. It was warm. It was home. He loved the rustle of the leaves as he shuffled to special places where he had hidden food. So we know that chipmunks eat uh, nuts, especially acorns, uh, just like our tree squirrels. He loved poking his nose out of his hole and feeling the cold wetness of feathery snowflakes as they fell softly to the ground. He loved the quiet. Charlie was happy. Then one spring, the people started coming to the park. At first it was exciting, for Charlie got to taste new treats like marshmallows and gumdrops and popcorn. More people came to the park and more people. So Charlie looks a little dismayed. One day, Charlie went to get a sip of water from the clear bubbling creek. Ouch, Charlie almost cut his tongue. There was broken glass everywhere. Charlie tried to pick it up and bury it, but there was so much and he was just a chipmunk. The days passed. The creek turned a funny color. It was full of oil. Charlie was so sad. Early one morning, Charlie bounded up and out of his hole, anxious to greet the day. At least he tried. He found himself squeezing his way through a pile of cans and paper that someone had thrown behind his log pile. Charlie pushed, Charlie pulled. Charlie's friends pushed and they pulled but they just couldn't move all the cans. Charlie would have to find a new home. Charlie looked at his hole under the log pile, covered with trash above the stone wall beside the creek, filled with oil and glass at the edge of the park. Charlie looked at the people. Charlie was sad. But Charlie was just a chipmunk. So what we learned from this story is that litter, which is trash that's not in the right place, hurts us. Um, if you're an animal that lives in that place, or it looks ugly if um, it's around your house. So there are some ways we can help. All of us can pick up along the curb if we're walking with an adult, and you can take a bag and pick up trash on the ground. Uh, you can do this to keep our city, which is Waco, keep Waco beautiful. And our state is Texas. So I want you to keep Texas beautiful. And then our country is America. I want you to keep America beautiful because we live in the United States of America. We live in Texas. And most of all, we live in Waco. So please do the right thing and uh, keep our world beautiful. And I thank you very much for your attention.